Sorcerer's Nerf Room. Today we're gonna be reviewing... Oh no! Okay, this is one of those blasters that I've been avoiding doing a video on because I have an unpopular opinion. I don't like it! And today in this video you're going to see why. So let's just get into it, starting with the design. The design of this blaster looks absolutely amazing. First, I love black and white blasters, and I love the orange aesthetics, the way that they do it justice by giving it just like these little orange accents all over it. Of course, the orange barrel because obviously it's Nerf. But also, I love this detail. This is the rotation mechanism for the cylinder. They exposed it on the outside just because it looks cool, so why not? It's an extra detail. That's brilliant. I also like the fact that they have the magazines exposed. That's not only useful, but it gives it a cool aesthetic when you fill it with rival rounds. And I've run out of things to talk about because this is a super basic looking blaster. I mean, they have screws and stuff and like fake bolts that are around the outside to make it look more industrial or something, but... I don't know, there's really not much to talk about here. As I just said, it is a very basic blaster, and also a surprisingly wide one. I mean, this blaster is pretty chunky if you compare it to other blasters. You don't really notice how wide it is until you actually, like, look at it and you're like, wow, this is a super wide blaster. But with that said, let's... Oh no, let's get onto the ergonomics. You guys are gonna hate me. This blaster includes the whole three-in-one package. You've got the main grip, you've got the stock, and you've got the foregrip. Starting with the main grip, ah, oh, this is a wonderful main grip. It's not too big, it's not too small, and it's got nice finger toils. They're actually very comfortable. The trigger is very nice, very rounded, and it has a clicky, it has a very clicky pull to it. I think the trigger and the main grip is great. The stock is a little bit too wide, but it does the job. It's a stock, it's pretty comfortable. And then there's the foregrip. This thing is And it is so yeah let me explain why I just said all that an example of a good foregrip could go back to the mega twin shock it's very ergonomic and smooth and it's meant to be comfortable to hold on to this thing is the size of a coke can it is way too big around I can't actually wrap my fingers all the way around it and there is nothing smooth to hold on to at all it is made with the roughest most terrible feeling plastic imaginable and on top of that Nothing to stop your hand from going up into this horrendously painful, tight, square thing. So your hand rides up and bam, blisters here, blisters there, blisters on your thumb, and blisters on the webbing of your hand right there. It is legitimately the most painful foregrip I have ever seen in my entire life. It is horrible. The foregrip on this blaster is so bad, I have nothing good to say about it. I literally have nothing good to say about this foregrip in any way. Th th it's too big, it's uncomfortable, even if it has something to prevent your hand from going up into this painful square of plastic, it's still just way too big, and it's just not ergonomically designed at all. It barely even looks cool. It looks like a can or something coming off the bottom of the blaster. What in the heck were they thinking? Like, people love to complain about how bad the Ultra 3's ergonomics are, but like... I would rather take this any day of the week over the Hades because this at least does not hurt my hand after 10 seconds of usage. I could run this thing for a few hours before I started to get sick of the foregrip. The Hades I literally could not bear to put it through my testing procedure in one sitting because after 15 minutes of usage I had blisters all over my hand and my arm was aching from using it. Legitimately the most painful experience I've ever had using a Nerf blaster. I'd say that's an achievement because I have used some terrible ergonomic blasters in the past, such as the Flip 32. That blaster does not have good ergonomics at all, but I would take them all any day of the week over this because they don't hurt. This one hurts. That is terrible. But before I complain about this for too long, let's get onto the functionality. Essentially, to load this, you take this and you pull it to the back and it locks. Then you load in 60 rival rounds. If you can stand using it for all 60, then you're a trooper. But you load in 60 rival rounds, you close it, the springs give the rival rounds tension and push them towards the front. Then to use it, you pull back, you push forward, and you fire once, or it has slam fire. The slam fire and the actual action of priming it is pretty smooth, as well as the trigger pull being very clicky and responsive. And with that, I've run out of words, so let's shoot this stupid nugget. I'm gonna do 10 rounds normally, and then 10 rounds with slam fire. I'm not doing the whole magazine. I can't stand doing that. Oh my gosh. 
So yeah, I hate this thing, but it is a really good idea and it isn't too hard to fix. You just have to take this off and replace it with another foregrip. I've actually 3D printed a foregrip, but I haven't gotten around to sanding it and actually getting it situated on this thing. Plus I wanted to leave it stock so I could do a review on it first. But with that said, now that I've done the review on it, I have full right to say that this is one of the most uncomfortably painful blasters I've ever used in my entire life and I don't like it at all because of it. I think that the functionality is good and the idea of it is great as well as the main grip and the stock being pretty good, but this foregrip completely kills the experience, making it into a painful, uncomfortable nightmare instead of something fun and practical to use efficiently in a war. I'd take anything else over this any day of the week. If you do want to get one though, I will link it in the description below. With that said, thanks for watching. Bye.